Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. Uh, this is me going over weekly contest 204 Q2, uh, maximum length of subway with positive product. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and let me know what you think. So th actually, this one um, has a well-known dynamic programming solution, um, and, it, and it still took me 10 minutes, so it's not like I'm trying to make it easy uh, or sound easier than it is. It is actually tricky uh, to get the the base cases correctly, and that's what I struggle with. But basically, there's only, uh, if you look at each uh, index, there are only two ways that you can end, um, end a subarray at that index, right? One is if um, it's, you know, if you have positive number of negative, so okay, so let's put down the cases. Uh, sorry, let me start a little bit more. Uh, but note that because zero means it's not positive, so you, you just divide it by zero. Every time you, um, you have to get a zero, you have to reset the, the sequence no matter what, right? Uh, so for example, yeah. Um, and then now you think of, you know, if it's all positive, then it's easy. And you, uh, in a way, it's greedy, right? Because you just want to keep on getting products uh, of positive numbers. And the number itself don't really matter. It just matters where it's positive, negative. And, you know, if you have elementary math uh, product in uh, multiplying, you'll know that, you know, if you have even number of neg negative numbers, um, the product of them will be positive. So that's the kind of uh, thing that I would try to build on. Um, and so then now your dynamic programming uh, function, which I had, I, I wrote a I could have done this in a much easier way, but but I tried to do it really quickly uh, during the contest, and I and I knew the recurrence a little bit, but I was just being a little bit off, and that's why I uh, uh, rewrote it this way in the near space. Uh, you know, you could do it in constant space, but basically, I have two ways. One is uh, ne neg or negative is the 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 longest subarray that ends at the index with one negative. Well, not one, but like. Uh, odd number of negative values, right? Because then it becomes negative. Uh, and then positive is even number of negative values uh, because then it becomes positive. Uh, so from that, the recurrence for each index is, okay, uh, so we update for each uh, index. Well, with zero, we have to start, we have to restart the index. And then otherwise, if, you, you know, you ask yourself, if the, um, and I should have done this by just, padding it by one, then I don't have to, all these awkward index minus one things. But basically, the long, so the question you have to ask yourself, and for me, dynamic programming prob, uh, problems are all about asking the right question. And by that, I mean, like, for each state, you have to ask the state a question that is answer is for, right? So positive index means, the as I said, the, the longest subarray up to this point that has uh, zero negative values or two negative values or four negative values, basically even number of negative values, right? And if we get a positive number, then we just, you know, we extend the streak by one with its positive number. If we get a, uh, and then the same thing for negative, right? Like, or, or odd number of negative values because whatever, you know, um, whatever value it was, you just extend it by one. So I think this is, um, straightforward-ish. The only thing that I had trouble with was that if the previous value, though, is zero, then you cannot extend that streak because there's no no streak exists. So that's the only thing, the only base case that uh, I had some trouble with uh, coming up because there's no positive... Because, you know, there's no way to get a negative, um, negative sequence by adding a positive sequence if it's zero, right? And then from that, you can maybe uh, try to figure out for yourself how to get the negative version, which is, well, if we get a negative number, um, well, whatever that was the negative, longest negative sequence, it now becomes a positive sequence. And also, uh, uh, inversely, if you, whatever negative sequence is just a positive sequence plus one. Um, and in this case, uh, you have to check that the negative sequence is bigger than zero, because if it's zero, then, then you know, um, then you can't really extend it. Or, or if there's no negative, then there's nothing to turn that negative into a positive. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of the recurrence. And then once you figure all this out, you just, you know, you try to keep the 
best track of the positive one uh, because that's what you care about and and yeah and that's kind of the Q2 this is a very tricky problem uh, if you haven't seen it before um, but this class of problem does is very uh, it's kind of common um, in more competitive programming, though maybe not so much on interviews. Um, yeah, so this is linear time uh, because you look at each element at most once, and it's going to be the way that I'm imp implemented is negative. Oh, sorry, is linear space, but you can actually reduce this to constant space by noticing that we only look at the index minus one for each index, right? So you could get it to constant space. Uh, try it as a practice. Um, yeah, and you could probably do this top down, but maybe it's a little bit tricky uh, for me to think about that way anyway. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have for Q2. Let me know if you have any questions. It's, it's not easy, so it's okay to struggle, um, especially if you haven't seen these type of problems before. I've seen these type of problems before, and I still struggled, right? So yeah, so definitely leave a comment, leave questions, uh, and you could watch me solve it live next. <laughs> That's not right. How do you? It's just one, but oh. Hmm. But 
too long though. A little bit off. the longest I had to be too smart, I need to just do a DP. One. This is the tricky part. Positive. Negative is equal to. I don't know why this is wrong though. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't change it. And now it's negative.
can't create it. Okay, I think that's the difference. Okay. I think my base case was wrong. Uh, hey, everybody. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, you know, this was a fun contest. So yeah, let me know what you think. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, and join me on Discord. And I will see you during the next contest. Bye-bye. Uh,